So the Tomb Raider remasters are about to drop everywhere at the time of me filming this. I mean, we're less than 24 hours away. And what do Crystal Dynamics do? They have to crap on it. I've been trying to tell you guys for the past, I don't know, five years or so that Crystal Dynamics hate, not only hate, they despise classic Lara Croft and classic Tomb Raider. We've been begging them for remasters for so many years and they have refused and it took Embracer buying the Tomb Raider IP and Crystal Dynamics and all that. It took them buying it and handing off the project to Aspire, a completely different studio, to get the remasters we wanted. But of course, Crystal Dynamics had to put their grubby, disgusting hands on this and make this statement. So this is a disclaimer that they put in the remasters. Now, this is not to discourage you from buying the remasters. You should buy the remasters because they don't want you to. <laughs> they don't want the remasters to be successful because they want their stupid reboot crybaby survivor girl, woke girl. They want her to be Lara Croft, not the real Lara Croft. They want to replace Tomb Raider. I've been telling you guys this and everyone, not everyone, but some people are like, what do you mean Crystal Dynamics isn't woke? I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, well, Let's just look at this, right? So they said, the games in this collection contain offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. These stereotypes are deeply harmful, inexcusable, and do not align with our values at Crystal Dynamics, who didn't even make this. So shut up. Nobody cares. Rather than removing this content, we have chosen to present it here in its original form, unaltered, in the hopes that we may acknowledge its harmful impact and learn from it. First of all, it wasn't your decision, Crystal Dynamics. <sighs> Embracer handed this off to Aspire. You didn't even make this, right? So, I don't know. Even if for some reason they did have some sort of authority on this, the backlash would have been monumental if they cut parts of the game out. Now, people are asking, well, what is the offensive parts? Well, I mean, in Tomb Raider 2, there are Tibetan monks. I'm guessing they probably find those offensive for some reason. Now, if you attack the monks, then they'll fight you. If, they, if you don't, they won't. Um, but they look like, you know, very what you would expect a monk to look like. Stereotypical, I mean, stereotypes are typically truth. Not only that, but it's not even offensive. They look awesome. So what's the problem? So then in the South Pacific levels in Tomb Raider 3, there are these tribal, these can this cannibal tribe, right? And um, I guess they, you know, they don't like that because can't have any dark skin cannibals in this game because they think that's disrespectful. Mind you, actual tribal people cannibals exist. This wasn't a specific rooted in reality tribe. It was made up for this game. Not only that, but they were under control of the artifact. So there's so many things going on with this, but it's just stupid. It is so stupid. Now, I have been telling you guys too, a lot of the changes that they've tried to make with Lara Croft and Tomb Raider and all that stuff with uh, making Lara Croft go from a grave robber who steals artifacts because she wants them and she likes them to, oh, now she just wants to be a hero. Now she wants to return artifacts to their rightful owners you know and now she is just a hero and i've shared leaks about the upcoming project and so crystal dynamics have been doing everything they can to squash the remasters and to try to take the limelight away from it and i made a video about it the other day which a lot of you guys saw. I made a video about it the other day. They they conveniently updated their website with a little teaser of their next mainline game where they wanted to unify Lara Croft. So they want to just basically make their stupid reboot crybaby girl in a classic Lara-esque outfit. You know, mind you, she's not going to be Lara Croft. She's not going to have her personality. She's not going to have her thrill for adventures. She's not going to want to steal artifacts. She's going to, she's, she's still going to be overly emotional and relatable. She's still going to have stumpy legs because for some reason they're scared to give Lara Croft who 
iconically always had very long legs, very tall, um, curvy, beautiful, just this awesome power fantasy of a character who had it all. Looks, brains, sass. She was fun. She was flirty, all that. Well, they have to change her. So now you got this pea head, stumpy legged, whatever thing in in an inspired classic Lara outfit, but the shorts are really long. The holsters look weird. Her legs look stumpy. This just ain't it. So they dropped this. They dropped the new logo, which I shared some of that with you guys as well. Um, they talk about here the join the society of raiders. I mean, again, look how little her legs are, how short her legs are. Lara Croft is supposed to be this statuesque five foot nine woman, not five foot two. Come on now. And so now, um, and then especially when you see the concept art for her face. And so, I mean, look at this short girl in cosplay. That's not Lara Croft. This is Lara Croft. Also, yeah, Lara Croft, classic Lara Croft was just not intended to be this emotional, relatable. She was a power fantasy protagonist who was more anti-hero than hero. She was never supposed to be this goody two-shoes hero. That's not how she was created to be. So this is where we're at. They dropped a new logo as well with some, a reflection of, a, and basically it was Call of, here it is. So basically right here, you got Call of Duty Lara, which do I need to remind you about how terrible Call of Duty Lara Croft looked? Oh my gosh, it was embarrassing. Like, downright embarrassing. Now, on what on her initial reveal thing, she looked decent. Uh, how they had her pose and stuff. But still, I wasn't even impressed. And I got some backlash at first because, what are you talking about? You're just being overly picky. All this stuff. Well, then they actually saw her and she just looked like an angry Karen. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Here she is. Let me pull some of this up so you guys can see it. Uh, right there, which is not that close up right now. But yeah, she just, this just ain't it. She just looks like a Karen. Does that look like Lara Croft to you? No. No. That is not her. So Aspire has done everything right with the remasters and... Crystal Dynamics are mad about it because here's the thing is Embracer bought Tomb Raider. They bought effectively Crystal Dynamics with it. And so Crystal Dynamics have been effectively proven wrong, right? Because the, the pre-orders, the hype for the classic remasters are exceeding expectations. And Crystal Dynamics tried to tell us these won't sell, these won't sell, these won't sell. There's not a market for classic Lara. Well, people said there wasn't a market for classic Lara back when she first came out and they're saying it now. And guess what? There's a market for her. They dropped this to try to get hype about the new stuff and try to overshadow the, the classic remasters. And guess what happened? Nobody gave a crap. There are some people talking about it, but not really. Nobody gave two craps. So their $100 million plus game with overly dramatic stories and turning Lara into a lesbian. Have fun with that because it's going to flop. It's going to flop so bad. People don't want that. People want the grave robber, cannibal mowing down, <laughs> classic Lara Croft, the Tomb Raider. That's what people want. I am sick of it with all of this woke washing reboot narrative that nobody asked for. And they kept telling us, oh, she'll become the Tomb Raider. She'll become the Tomb Raider. Whenever I had criticisms, people kept telling me, well, she'll get there. Well, clearly, Crystal Dynamics do not align. They have made it very clear. They do not align with Tomb Raider. They do not align with the classics. They had no intention of ever bringing her back. So anyway, there you have it for this video. Uh, if you're watching this as I upload it, I am going to be streaming the classic remasters because I did get my hands on them, which I am, oh, it is taking everything in me not to play them right now. And I can't because I'm waiting for stream. 
and I, I'm going to be on side scrollers, which that'll be done by the time I upload this. But anyway, I'll just drop a little thing. My first impressions, I do not like modern controls. You can't do backflips. You can't do all that. I've been telling you guys forever, you need to play with tank controls. That is how the classic games were designed for. When you turn on modern controls, it changes the entire dynamic of the game. Not only that, but they're not better. It's actually more difficult to traverse and do stuff with the modern controls. So I implore you, play with those tank controls. Use the D-pad. You might want to map the buttons a little different. I did on Xbox. But anyway, I got to get on side scrollers and prep for this stream. So you guys can watch me on Twitch, YouTube, and kick at Melanie Mac. That is where I will be playing the while well, I'll be streaming I'll be streaming the, the classic remasters like crazy this week so catch me there um and if you want me to read the bible to you catch me on my bible channel at bible time with Melanie Mac thank you all so much for watching I'll catch you next time and in the meantime go boom <laughs> oh, look at her! This is my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. So I'll let's the see how. The music room. Oh, look! This is how you toggle. So let's go ahead and go into the settings. Uh, let's go to okay controls. We have tank controls. Let's try modern controls. Uh. Run back, left, right, walk. No. Walk needs to be that. Jump needs to be this. Action needs to be that. Weapon needs to be that. Look needs to be that. Roll. Okay. Yes, well, secondary needs to be this. Well, actually, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I hate the modern controls. I don't, I feel like the modern controls are worse. And you can't backflip, it's retarded. So, oops. Tank controls. Jump, action, weapon, look, roll. That's right.
Oh my gosh, you guys! I cannot believe this is happening! Take you on a guided tour. So Move let's the see how. The music room. Oh look, this is how you toggle. So let's go ahead and go into the settings. Uh, let's go to okay controls. We have tank controls. Let's try modern controls. Uh. Also, how do we? So, how do you do a backflip with modern controls? That's weird. So, you can't do backflips with modern controls? Well... That's retarded. I don't know who would want to okay. do that. Let's do some tumbling. Press the jump button. So you can still do that. Ah, the main hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage and the delivery people haven't been yet. I'm curious how... Run up to a crate and while still pressing forward, Press action, and I'll vault up onto it. Oops. I don't like the controls. Um, first of all, Run back, left, right, walk. No. Walk needs to be that. Jump needs to be this. Action needs to be that. Weapon needs to be that. Look needs to be that. Roll. Okay. Yes, well, secondary needs to be this. Well, actually, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I hate the modern controls. I don't, I feel like the modern controls are worse. And you can't backflip, it's retarded. So, oops. Tank controls. Jump, action, weapon, look, roll. That's right. Yeah, this is so much better. Okay, okay. 